Our next spotlight this month lands on another self-taught artist who uses his voice to express love for wildlife and the natural world. Wayne Chanat is primarily an acrylic artist who enjoys leaving the four walls of his studio behind to paint in plain air. He moved to Lakeland in 2014 and has been involved in the Polk County art scene ever since. Here's a look at the gentle, impressionistic artwork of Wayne Chanat. I am Wayne Chanat. I'm a local Lakeland artist, originally from Ohio. Uh, my background is uh, I was a naturalist, forester, park manager, park director. And all that time in my career, I've always wanted to become and be a wildlife illustrator. So back in the 70s, I began uh, researching and uh, found that they didn't offer any collegiate programs. So off I went on my own. I like wildlife, I do flora, fauna, I do historical structures. I've been painting uh, with acrylics, oils, watercolor. I also do intaglio and I've done some sculpture. I've always had the affinity for nature. Parents would take me out to our local county park districts. I mean, when I was growing up, they used to call me nature boy. Rather than go out and play football or baseball, I would be out catching frogs or snakes. So I always enjoy the out of doors. Let's see, 2003, uh, we moved into a rural county of Carroll County. At that point in time, I was doing a number of local art shows, well, not local so much, but uh, from Florida up to Michigan. And uh, in 2005, I happened to go to the SKB Black in Du Bois, Wyoming. And there's where I met the plein air artists and the movement. So I've been plein airing ever since about 2005, 2006, and all the way up to today. Plein air, it is the best way to learn how to paint. It challenges you. It, it tests all your abilities and all your skills as an artist. When you go out, I look for such things as value, contrast, light. All these play a factor into a plein air painting. When a plein air painting is successful, it actually draws the person into that painting so he feels an emotion with it, an attachment. So that's the purpose that I see behind a plein air painter is to engage you, the viewer. How I start, well, sometimes I'll uh, do five by sevens. I'll do eight by tens, probably no bigger than 11 by 14. It usually takes me about two hours to do a work. Anything larger than that, you may come back to the same spot day after day after day. So it's, it's the thrill of it. It's, you know, fighting the mosquitoes, fighting the sun, fighting the humidity and you bring this all together to give you a completed project. Now what I have here today and how I start, this is a masonite board. It's approximately five by seven. And I go in here onto the board and I will prep the board by toning it. Sometimes I'll use a blue, sometimes I'll use a sienna color. And this is how I start. From this, I will go out, find my location, then I will do a quick sketch on the board with either pencil, and then I will apply Sharpie, and I do the outline. From there, I do a value study onto the board, then I add the color, then I temper the edges, and then I put in my detail. So those are the basic steps that I follow in plain air. Tower, definitely here at Circle B. Um, over at Tamarack, that's another place. Um, down in Homeland, 
those are wonderful. Anywhere in Lakeland, any of the industrial sites. But uh, those are the areas I look for. Something of uh, Florida's past, perhaps past history, something in the area of industrialization. Sometimes I take a look at uh, just an old scrap car that might be laying along the road or a rural area with a barn perhaps. So you, you just never know. I usually don't work on a painting uh, continuously. I start and go, stop and go, stop and go. I'll have three or four paintings on my easel at a time in the studio. I, I worked on one studio painting and that was in watercolor and that was back in 1976. I finished it two years ago. So it all depends the mood, how you feel, what you want to look at. I will set a painting aside sometime, well, for 20, 30, 40 years and then I'll pull it back out again and take a look at it and rework it. My advice is to paint as much as you can. Paint every day. Every painting is a learning experience. You will take something away from the painting. A lot of times I have a reject pile and I just throw it aside because I really not satisfied with it. But yet it'll sit for months and I'll bring it back and I'll say, where did I go wrong? What can I do to improve it? And then I'll bring it back and I'll rework it. Now some of them I don't rework. I just paint right over them with a new painting. So that's one of the benefits of a product. I think the biggest difficulty is time. Finding the time to go out and paint. Because uh, I also had a career in the parks and recreation field. We also raised a family. We also rehabbed a hundred year old home. So most of the time was consumed uh, just with family affairs and things. And finding that little bit of time to get away, to go to your studio or go outside is what I look forward to. Everybody has their own style, of course, and everyone has their own genre that they want to, how they want to paint in. But you have to be committed to it. Coming from Ohio, and our last permanent residence was Carrollton, Ohio, my wife and I ran the art studio there for about seven years. When we moved down here, one of the first things we wanted to do was get involved in the arts. And I'll tell you, we found Ridge Art, I found Bartow Art, I found Lakeland Art Guild, and the five universities that are here. It's just a culture of art. And of course the Polk Museum, that's what drew us here to Lakeland. There's a lot of local sources here that you can go to, even if it's just for a day, just to feel, be able to express yourself with paint. Take a paintbrush, throw some paint down, move it around and see what comes out. 